Are you one of the people that feel like ChatGPT is a bit overhyped? Do you kind of want to learn how to use this tool to supercharge your day? In this video, I'm going to explain to you a couple of hacks on how to make better use of ChatGPT and make it a tool that is a part of your productivity toolbox. Now, these upcoming hacks may change your mind on how to use ChatGPT a bit better. So make sure to stick to the end. And if you do find this potentially useful, please give me a huge thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. And continue to subscribe to this channel so that you can learn the building blocks for this age of AI. So the first hack is clarifying explanations with ELI5 or LE5. On the internet, the term LE5 or ELI5, however you pronounce it, is highly popularized on Reddit. It's a great way to understand explanations in very simple terms because it stands for explain it like I'm five. So by adding the simple LE5 to the input, you can get ChatGPT to output a very simplified explanation of something. The great thing about using LA5 is that for the most part, ChatGPT tries to do exactly that and explain everything as if you were a child, avoiding any use of specific lingo. And if it does, you can just ask it to elaborate further, right? So an example of this could be LA5 quantum mechanics, right? And then from there, it'll give you the result. An example of this could be LA5 quantum mechanics to me. Now let's say the explanation was still a bit too hard to follow. You can then follow up by asking it to LA5 further or you can even try to simplify it further by saying LA3, LA2, LA1. So explain it like I'm one, explain it like I'm two, etc, etc. Okay, then the next hack is to summarize things with TLDR. This is another great way to get ChatGPT to help you understand or learn things in a simple way. Uh, TLDR also comes from Reddit, um, stands for too long didn't read, which is used to provide a concise summary of a long piece of text. So people use TLDR to usually get a quick overview of a topic as it's often meant for those who don't have enough time to read through everything. So this can be particularly useful if you have a long chunk of text that you'd like ChatGPT to summarize the key points. So you just insert the following prompt, TLDR the following content, and then provide a chunk of text that you wanted to TLDR with. If you're someone who prefers to read things by bullet points as it usually feels shorter and concise, then you can indicate that as well by writing TLDR in bullet points. And then the next hack here is act like a, which is to take on a persona. So for anyone who wants to use ChatGPT as a sport or sort of specialized assistant, you can get it to take on a specific persona, which will then try to provide outputs or opinions that fit that persona. So this is particularly useful for marketers who receive a list of user personas for their product or services. Um, and then once you have that persona, you can just type in something like act like a fitness trainer and tell me more about how to exercise better, for example. By doing this, it will take on that persona and can give you some insight into how that given persona might be thinking or perceiving that subject. This also really helps to get in the mind of that specific persona so you can understand the lingo that's used in that space. And then the next would be walk me through it. This is another awesome way that ChatGPT can be great for a learning buddy to, to teach you things. So. So let's face it, some teachers, they're not really that great at explaining things, right? So with ChatGPT, it can walk you through the thought process or the topic step by step, right? So you can write a prompt like, walk me through the topic of quantum mechanics. And now let's say you've inserted a group of text to be summarized. So you can write an example like, walk me through quantum mechanics step by step. This will give you then a set of results that truly does list out each step one by one and kind of tries to walk you through it in a more simplified manner. If you want to dig deeper into a subject or you want to kind of have it summarized. So let's take the quantum mechanics subject to mind. Let's say you noticed that there was a specific point that you wanted to dive deeper into. You can then just say, walk me through and then insert that point. And then it will further dive deeper into that specific topic within the subject. And then the next hack, is bypassing character limit restrictions. So if you try to use ChatGPT to summarize or provide bullet points for a long set of text that you've copied and pasted into a text, some of you might run into the frustrating error message, which looks like this. The message you submitted was too long. Please reload the conversation and submit something shorter. This can be pretty frustrating. And the reason for this is because ChatGPT has a 4,097 character limit. Remember, that's characters, not words. So 
As noted on their site, this is a technical limitation that they have since the requests that an AI model can handle is about that many tokens. So naturally what is suggested here is to make the text smaller or condense it a bit more. But as you guys may know, this might take a bit of time because you don't want to, be, if especially if it's a super long piece, you need to then kind of break it up into different smaller pieces and then input it into ChatGPT and so on and so on. Now there's not an exact workaround besides chunking out the text on ChatGPT itself, but the hack here is to leverage tools like ChatGPT Chunker, an AI tool that breaks out the text into sufficient smaller pieces. And it gives you also the right prompt instructions to allow ChatGPT to keep following along. So third-party tools like this are a great way to hack ChatGPT in the right way. You can also leverage plugins. Um, and while a lot of these plugins are made by third-party companies, they integrate together with ChatGPT very well and supercharges everything you do, from finding travel plans to making reservations at restaurants and so on. The only caveat here is that you need to be a ChatGPT Plus user, which is about $20 per month. But if you are interested to learn more about these plugins, make sure to check out the next video as I explain some of the more useful ChatGPT plugins that can kind of make your life easier. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so we can navigate this digital ocean of AI together.